In this activity, you're going to learn how to animate your own petrifying poems. We're going to use the example Five Little Pumpkins and use green screen in the animation. To do this, you'll need some white paper, some coloured paper, green or blue works best, colouring pens or pencils, some scissors and some sticky tape or glue, the camera app, the iMovie app, a background image for your animation and a copy of a poem. You could use this poem or any other poem or have a go writing your own. For this poem, we need to draw and cut out some pumpkins for our animation. Start your pumpkin drawing by drawing a slightly squished oval in the centre of your page. Then draw a large curve that joins near the top and the bottom of your oval. Repeat this on the other side. Behind these curved lines, draw another slightly more rounded curve and repeat on the other side to form the base of your pumpkin. Next, we're going to draw two curved lines for the stalk and join them with a small oval to make it look 3D. Draw a squiggly line around the top of your pumpkin to draw the base of the stalk and then decide how you want to draw your face. Your pumpkin needs two eyes, a nose and a mouth. Colour it in and then cut it out. For this poem, we need five different little pumpkins. You could draw all five yourself, giving each one a different type of face. Or you could do one and team up with four friends. When you have all five pumpkins, you need to cut five strips of coloured paper and stick one pumpkin to the end of each strip. You can then put down a matching piece of coloured paper for the background and move your pumpkins around as you use the camera app to record yourself reading the poem. Think carefully about how you're going to read your poem. Think about any voices you might use, when you're going to pause and how your animation will help tell the story. When you have recorded your reading, you can use iMovies to remove the background from your video and replace it with your spooky image. On your iPad, open up iMovies and then click Start New Project. Then click Movie. Select your background image and press Create Movie. Pictures in iMovie often move because of an effect called Ken Burns. Click the Ken Burns Enabled button to toggle this off and stop your picture from moving around. Scroll to the start of your project and now you're ready to add your video over the top of your image. Click video and then select the video of you reading your poem. When you click on the video, don't click the plus button. Click the three little dots and then choose the option green slash blue screen iMovies should recognise this as a blue or green screen and remove it, allowing your background image to peek through. If that doesn't happen straight away, just double tap on the coloured paper and your image should appear. Drag the yellow bars on your image until it's long enough to cover your whole video. When you're ready, click Done in the top left corner of the screen to save your work. You can rename your video to the name of your poem, then click the share button in the bottom centre of the screen and click save video to send a copy of your video into your photo library. Share your video with your teachers, your friends and your family to let them see your work. If you're sharing on social media, please tag it with the hashtag InspireHalloween so we can find it and see your amazing creations. From everybody at the Inspire Learning team, Happy Halloween!